Air pollution and how to reduce it is a global dilemma. It now appears one of mankind's oldest practices may be contributing significantly to the problem, trash burning. A new study shows more than 40 percent of the world's garbage is set afire, sending a variety of toxic substances into the air. CCTV's Hendrix Sabrandi has more on the findings from the U.S. state of Colorado. They're called junk king. All day, every day, employees of this Denver, Colorado junk hauling company give homeowners the royal treatment by getting their unwanted stuff out of their sight. We've got cardboard, wood, electronics, um, some dressers that are going to get donated, some silk plants will get donated. Everybody or most people have something, and you know, we just make it easy for it to, to disappear. Like Junk King, a business called Alpine Waste and Recycling plucks recyclables out of the waste stream and brings the rest to a landfill. We really look at ourselves as dealing with the stream as a natural resource because there's a lot of natural resources in it. But a new study claims this kind of trash disposal is far from the global norm. The National Center for Atmospheric Research estimates 41 percent of the world's garbage, 1.1 billion tons of it, goes up in smoke each year. A lot of plastic bags, a lot of leaf waste, a lot of just plastic bottles, and it's just smoldering um, all day long. NCAR scientist Christine Wiedenmeyer saw it firsthand when she was in Ghana. She decided to probe further, and she discovered trash fires spew a thick stew of particulates, metals, and gases into the air. Yeah, just all sorts of nasty stuff. I think there's still a lot we don't know about what comes out of waste. She says trash burning is most common in developing countries, places where there are fewer landfills and incinerators. According to her study, these fires produce roughly 5% of human-related carbon dioxide emissions. I was surprised that the estimates came out so large. That reality and the accompanying health impact is hard to fathom at Alpine, where as the saying goes, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Here, recycling makes much more environmental and economic sense. Yeah, it really is amazing. I mean, if you look at what we do in diverting waste, there is value to that. Burning it, to me, doesn't make any sense. But it happens more than people may realize. Wiedenmeyer hopes her study brings attention to the issue. Hendrik Sabrandi, CCTV, Denver.